So, today in the garden, I was pruning some guava trees, and uh, I came across this little guy. Now, this is a birimanque in Soli, or Chewa, or a flapneck chameleon. He's a little bit upset with me right now, um, which is not surprising, because he's probably had quite a long drop, because I found him as I was chopping up pruned branches. So, he's uninjured which is the good part, but he is a little bit upset. And the, the way you can tell a chameleon is upset is you get this wonderful, wonderful looking polka dot pattern all over their skin. The one thing everyone knows about chameleons, apart from their very long sticky tongue, is their ability to change color. And most people now know that has a lot less to do with camouflage and a lot more to do with mood. So for example, you get this orange skin under his throat is another sign that he's not too happy right now. Um, we are going to rectify that, we're going to let him go. He also might not be thrilled because he's in quite a lot of sunlight right now, so let's find a little bit of shade for him just over there. There we go. So he will slowly go paler green as he calms down. They are not a popular animal in Zambia. That It's changing, but probably of all the wild animals, the one that suffers the most superstitions, the most unfair superstitions certainly, are chameleons. And these superstitions are quite variable. They, they range from it being just simply venomous when it bites, to it being sort of magically cursed so that it will, if it bites you, or sometimes even if you come near it, you or a member of your family will die. Um, so they can, they can, they can be anything from from a dangerous, venomous reptile to a, a an all-out, you know, death omen monster. Um, they're not. They are part of the clade of reptiles which has venom. The iguana-related reptiles, as well as the snakes and the monitor-related reptiles, all form this massive clade which probably evolved from a venomous ancestor. A huge range of completely harmless lizards fall into that clade, including chameleons. And chameleons have very short, peg-like teeth, so even if they, like bearded dragons, have mildly venomous saliva, they can't get it into you because they cannot break your skin. They, they can pinch quite hard because their jaw is quite strong. Well, the muscles holding it are quite strong, the actual bone of it is quite fragile. But they can't do you any lasting harm. I have been bitten by many over the years because and you see a chameleon in the road, it's not in a happy place. You prune a chameleon out of a tree unwittingly and decide to move it further away from the chickens, it's also not in a happy place. But I'm still here. Oh, he had gone a little lighter than I moved. So, you will possibly notice he'll get quite, and this is, this is a different sort of, sort of color changing. They shift from greens to darker colors and this polka dotting with their mood um, and they can sometimes go pale yellow. Um, I should, I'll be able to put up a picture of a range of colors just over here, hopefully. Um, but they also tend to, when you let them go in somewhere shady, they tend to go darker, and that helps them blend in quite nicely with the dappling. So there is a certain level of camouflage in their color change, but it also might have to do with temperature, because in shady areas they are cooler, so they're not having to reflect so much sunlight to avoid heating up too much. So. Let let him crawl off there and see if he changes colour at all. You see this wonderful walk he's doing, leaf-like movement, just to pretend he's a leaf as he goes away. 